Hi friends, it's Mari. I'm back today with another project for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this sweet little A2 size card using a bunch of products from the new Love Letters release. I'm going to start off here with the A2 double stitched frames dies and I'm going to use the largest die from that set to cut out the panel for my card front here. I want to do some ink blending onto this piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock here that I have on my uh, desk that I have all cut out with that die and I'm going to use a piece of sticky grid to stick that down to my glass mat so it doesn't move while I'm blending and I'm going to start off here with some distress oxide ink in spun sugar. I'm using my honeybee stamps blending brushes here to blend onto this Bristol smooth panel and I'm just going to do just some really pretty pink and purple blending here for a really whimsical sky behind my little um, my little characters here for my card today. So I'm also going to blend on some picked raspberry. This is one of my favorite Distress Oxide colors. I really love it. It's a really pretty vibrant pink, just a really beautiful rich color. And I'm just blending these three colors on together. I'll go back over each of the colors subsequent times after that first initial blend and just blend them together so that it's just a really nice smooth blend from top to bottom. And I just love how these colors blend together. I think it's just spectacular. I think it's so pretty and just creates this really beautiful background for the little scene that I'm going to create here with my stamps. So there you can just see I'm going back with a spun sugar. Now I'll go back in with a picked raspberry and then again with that wilted violet, the third color just blending them together just so that I have a really nice smooth blend. So you just get to play around with this. It's lots of fun. I find this so relaxing. I feel like it's one of the most stress relieving things that I can do in my craft space is ink blending because it's so easy to do and it's really, really super uh, enjoyable. Now I'm going to take Perfect Pearls and this is like the original, I guess, Perfect Pearls. It's just the, the white, but it's really super shimmery. I've watered the powder down with a little bit of um, um, water and now you can just see how I've just tapped that on with a small uh, brush onto my background. Now I'm going to take the uh, uh, Horizon Slimline Borders dies. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are my favorite honeybee slimline dies. They're so good. And it's so easy to create the little elements for your scene. And here you can just see I cut a piece of green cardstock with that wavy border die to create a little hillside. Now I'm going to stamp out two of the new stamp sets for it, Love Letters, Be Young, Love, and Stolen My Heart. These are two absolutely adorable sets. And I'm going to stamp those out with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink onto my Copic Friendly cardstock here. I've colored these with my Copic markers now and I'm ready to go ahead and make my little scene. Now that Be Young Love Girl, that sweet little bee girl, I believe is free with an order over possibly $75. There is more information about that in the shop, so make sure you check that out. There are also coordinating dies with both of those stamp sets, and there uh, is also a grass stamp uh, die within the um, Horizon Slimline Borders, and I'm gonna I've cut a chunk of grass out of that same cardstock there that you can see uh, to create my scene. Now I did also use my A2 double stitch frames die to uh, cut around the edge of this this green cardstock so that it has that stitching the same as the panel that's uh, ink blended. I ink blended a little. Bit bit of the Rustic Wilderness uh, Distress Oxide ink onto my grass as well just to darken the edges of that grass and I've also cut some clouds from the brand new Wispy Clouds dies. Oh my gosh these are so good. I love how you can layer these. They're so much fun and I've cut a couple of those out of some white cardstock and you'll just see me how I'm going to add those onto my sweet little scene here and this is a piece of patterned paper from the Love Letters 6x6 pattern paper pattern. This is brand new with the Love Letters release. It is a must have in your stash. I absolutely love that paper pad. And I am going to cut that down and layer that behind my little scene panel for the front of my card. Now I did want to create some dimension for this front top panel and I'm just going to add some uh, foam tape. This is three quarter inch 3M foam tape and I'm going to go ahead and add that onto the back of my panel here. Just cut that off nice and straight with 
uh, the, these using these strips of foam, go ahead and take that release paper off the back of the foam strips and then apply this to my card base. Now I have created a card base out of some really pretty light pink cardstock and then I layered the patterned paper over top of that leaving a little bit of a margin and then you can also see the, the panel for the top leaves a really nice margin so that you can see both the pink card base and that pattern paper. Now I want to pop up my little um, characters here with some foam adhesive and I want my little bee girl to just look like she's flying so I've got her on an angle there to make it look like she's actually just like flying in to wish her little raccoon friend love and perhaps give this little guy a little valentine and I think this is just so sweet it's like this little girl is just flying around handing out valentines and how stinking cute is that oh my gosh I absolutely love these these are so cute okay so enough of my gushing <laughs> let's keep going I'm going to go ahead and add the clouds I've got the the largest cloud added with some foam adhesive so that it's popped up and the second cloud I'm actually going to just glue down flat with my honeybee stamps liquid glue now I'm going to stamp out my sentiment with some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink and I really love this ink for heat embossing I'm going to stamp this out onto some Nina solar white cardstock in my mini misty and then I'm going to go ahead and apply some clear embossing powder over top of that and I'm going to take my heat tool and go ahead and melt that embossing powder and you'll just see how it just creates this really nice shiny glossy raised sentiment for the front of my card. Now, of course, there are coordinating honey cut dies for these sentiments, which is genius. And these are companion honey cuts that you can purchase as part of the uh, Be Young Love stamp set. And so there you can just see that I've got those all cut out. The B and my Valentine will be the sentiment for my card. I am going to pop up my Valentine with some small foam adhesive there. there you can just see I'm using my tweezers to go ahead and apply that to my card and I'm going to use a little bit of liquid adhesive for the word B and go ahead and stick that down above the my valentine I just like how it varies the height of the different parts of the sentiment I think it just looks a little bit more interesting in that way and there you can see how I've created all of that sentiment area now I'm going to take some clear wink of Stella and add some sparkle and shine to my two little characters here my sweet little bee girl and my lovely little raccoon Raccoon, so adorable just going to add that sparkle to this it's really subtle but you can see it when you go ahead and hold that up into the light now I'm going to use some nouveau glaze for the heart that the little raccoon is holding and I just wanted to give that some dimension in that way and this is a really simple and easy way to do that I'm going to take my wet white gel pen and add some details to the eyes of both of the little characters here a few highlights here and there I'm even going to add a few polka dots to the little girl's dress you can just see I'm adding a highlight to the cheek area I'm trying not to get my hand in that glue on the heart there I'm also going to take my Copic fine liner marker and I'm going to add some little eyelashes to my little raccoon and my girl and here you can see I'm just continuing to add more highlights with my white gel pen this is a super easy process and I just feel like it adds just a, some really cool detail to your project that does really um, elevate it a little bit and amplify the the look of the the whole card so just love adding these little details at the end of a project I just think it's super fun first of all I enjoy doing it and I just think it really makes the card look more interesting now I'm just taking some I think these are stardust or diamond stickles and also some pink stickles to finish off my card I had so much fun creating this I think the new love letters collection is absolutely amazing and I hope you enjoyed watching and uh, make sure you check the description box below for links to the products that I use today. Have an amazing day everyone. I'll see you another time. Bye-bye.